So have you thought that the Galaxy S21 was finally the Ultra that we didn't get last year? Wait for it. As yes, we have some crazy interesting leaks for the Galaxy S22 Ultra that sounds like competitors should start to worry some more. Some new dummy units give us more detail on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the changes seem more evident than we thought. And we have some possible dates for the Galaxy S21 FE with uh, this latest leak and even some color options as well. I'm Jaime Rivera, happy Cinco de Mayo, and I'd probably recommend that you don't dive in too much into tequila, but who am I kidding? This is Pocket Now Daily. Of course, the official news today begin with deals with a quick reminder that you can skip this section with the time breaks. Also, pocketnow.com is packed full of Mother's Day buying guides and deals that you might still be able to take advantage of. Those are going to be in the description as well. Let's begin with Apple's M1 MacBook Pro, which is currently at an all-time low. We've never seen it with a $200 discount until today on Amazon, leaving the 512 gig of storage model for $1,300 shipped. This is pretty much like buying the base model with double the storage, so I'd jump on that. Now, moving on to B&H, they have the Apple Watch Series 6 for $50 off, leaving the GPS variant for $449 or the LTE variant for $100 off, which means $599. Now, back to Amazon, they're currently running a Mother's Day sale on their speakers, like in the case of the new Echo Dot, which is $35 off, which leaves it at $40, but it includes a smart plug, so that's the reason for the price difference. The Echo Show 5 is available for half off, leaving it at $60 with a Blink Mini camera. And I swear, these are amazing surveillance cameras, so that's actually the best bang for the buck. And you can also get the Fire Stick Lite for just $25. Bucks. We have more deals on Apple products, Samsung monitors, and more in the description. Let's move on to talking about shady practices with my least favorite company, Facebook. If you think that I go too hard on them, trust me, I am just warming up iOS 14.5 was released earlier last week. And by the way, make sure to update the 14.5.1 for some security reasons. The thing is, the original update now lets you fully control whether applications track you or not. And, you know, Facebook has ran full campaigns against this because of how it hurts their business. Apple even made it clear that developers could not use sleazy means to convince you to get tracked. But I guess Facebook just defied that because they're just being Facebook. Whenever you log into Facebook or Instagram, you now get a prompt that tells you that you're on iOS 14.5. They explain the situation to users and then they go on and say, we use your information about your activity from other applications and websites to show you personalized ads and get this. Keep Facebook free of charge and, of course, support small businesses that rely on ads. So, yes, the threat now is that you could eventually be forced to pay for Facebook, which, let's be real, will be the moment the platform will die because I don't think anybody would ever want to do that. And let's be real, ads are still going to be there. There's no reason to make consumers think that uh, they will have to pay for a service when ads can't track them anymore. They just won't be personalized and you can choose to opt into that if that's your case. We'll see how Apple proceeds with this move as they have been vocal about removing Facebook or any application that finds a sleazy way to do this. All right, let's move the spotlight on to Samsung. But uh, before we get to the ultra territory, let's talk about the Galaxy S21 FE. Last year, the S20 FE was a major hit for this company, so it makes sense for them to want to follow up on that success. So far, we have, uh, well, seen some renders from the device along with leaks that claim that it'll bring a 6.4-inch AMOLED display powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 or the Exynos 2100 along with a 4800 milliamp hour battery and up to 256 gigs of storage. That's all well, but uh, well, we've been lacking a launch date. Now we have a new tweet from Ross Young claiming that production for the S21 FE is set to start sometime in July. He also went on to list the color variants that we could expect, that being gray, light green, light violet, and white, which will definitely get a fancier name at launch. So yeah, we actually don't have an exact launch date, but uh, with mass production starting in July, it pretty much signals that we should be getting this phone in the fall unpacked. And who knows, maybe also 
with the foldables. And if you think of it, it does make sense as a regular and affordable smartphone option is going to be offered alongside with the expensive foldables for people not to go crazy. Now, speaking of things we're supposed to be getting in the fall, let's talk about iPhones. If you haven't been paying attention, Lou from Unbox Therapy recently published a video with an iPhone 13 Pro Max dummy that has been provided by Ben Geskin based on the leaked schematics. Of course, it may not be the actual design, but uh, these schematics are pretty accurate. From these dummies, we can see the smaller notch, which is still noticeable, but drastically smaller since it has a rearranged Face ID component. On the back, probably the biggest change is on the camera lenses. You can tell that these are much larger, and according to Ming Shi Kuo, we should expect an upgraded ultra wide camera that has a brighter aperture and autofocus. Now, something else we should be expecting on these iPhones is an LTPO 120Hz OLED display that will apparently be solely provided by Samsung. Those are actually separate news. Yes, we know Apple is very late to this camp, but at least we're finally going to get this feature. I guess the most important takeaway is that this dummy proves that, uh, well, it could be an S year since the changes aren't really what I'd call significant, but we'll see as maybe the display and camera design changes could probably make the jump to iPhone 13, at least in Cupertino's mind. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's keep talking camera hardware updates, or should I say, real camera upgrades, this time from Samsung. Let's just say that what Samsung is preparing for the S22 Ultra is so bold that it encompasses all of the rumors and partnerships we've been covering for more than a year, all according to a new leak from Ice Universe. On a Weibo post, he mentions that the S22 Ultra will bring continuous optical zoom and then an underscreen camera and the new form of GPU made by Samsung and AMD in an interesting collaboration. Now, to dabble a little bit into all of them, Samsung and AMD partnered up a a while ago, and according to some benchmarks, even Apple should be worried about this GPU. Maybe the only concern that I have is that if I remember correctly, this GPU was for their Exynos chips, and not necessarily something that a Qualcomm counterpart would support. And hey, the last time that we got an Exynos-only Galaxy phone, that was the S6, and that didn't really go so well. Now, regarding the under-display camera, we are expecting it to make a debut on the Galaxy Z Fold 3, so that should shed some light into that. But what has me most excited excited is this continuous zoom camera as we'll finally not just uh, have uh, different focal lengths as what zoom cameras currently are on smartphones, or at least we think. It's hard to tell if this has anything to do with the rumored collaboration with Olympus, but uh, we'll keep you posted. But anyways, in today's question, what do you think about these possible Galaxy S22 Ultra upgrades? Because Honestly, in my case, if they figure out that zoom camera, they bring that AMD chip for real graphics, uh, yeah, even though the M1 is kind of crazy, uh, I think that this could probably change everything for smartphones. But uh, I mean, so do foldable. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of a great time to be in this business right now with how everything is evolving. But let us know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me. Um, well, I'm on parole for time served when it comes to tequila, so I'll try something else. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.